Let us move along and say hello to our next guest. We just spoke about him. He is the one and only, the mauler, Alexander Gustafson. He joins us now on the phone. Alex, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it, as always. And congratulations on your second baby. How about that? Mazel tov. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is a, a, a another boy? Yeah, it's the first boy I had. The first one was a, was a girl. So I, I got a... They're a girl and a boy now. Wow, that's amazing. Now you got both. It's incredible. Any difference in the boy and the girl? Do you, do you sense a difference in them? Uh, they, you know, they, they, they're so small, so young yet. And then they're, he's, just, uh, he's just a week or two weeks old. So he's the same, same routine, same, same, type of, same type of routines. And, and you know, they just sleep, eat, and... And uh, and shit basically. So yes. it's kind of easy. Are you are yeah. you are you changing diapers though, Alex? Tell us the truth. I <laughs> well, I do, I do. You do, okay. Sometimes. Some, Some, not, not, not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, well done, and uh, congratulations to your family. I hope everyone is, is feeling uh, as good as possible. By the way, I, w- I was just curious, and I, I was you. putting you know two and two together. We, we were hearing all the time that you wanted to fight on that August 4th card, but we never really knew why. Is, is this why? Like, Did you want to get in before you guys had the baby? Was that why you were so eager to fight on that card? Uh... No, not really, because I had a baby just recently. So, so well, I just uh, no, it's, it's time for me to fight. Basically, it's been it's been too long. So, I just yeah, you know, I'm 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 ready and, and I just want to fight. So, that's basically it. Okay, and how are you feeling? Because I know you had to pull out of that card. Your, your health at this time. How are you feeling? Good, good, good. You're ready to go. I feel good. I training. Yeah, of course, hundred percent. So, so you have been vocal on social media over the last few days. Uh, you have directed your comments towards uh, John Jones. And what's interesting about it is we just celebrated the five-year anniversary of your incredible fight, in my opinion, the greatest fight in UFC history. There it is, John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson at UFC 165. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. What a fight. I could watch it a million times. First off, are you surprised that he ended up getting 15 months, which is way, way smaller of a suspension than everyone expected? Were you surprised? No, I haven't really. I haven't really thought about it. It's uh, uh, I don't, I don't put it in the energy in that at all. I just you know he's back now, and I'm happy. I'm happy for him, and, and it's good for the division that he's back. So, so and, and uh, yeah, and I just feel that I just want to welcome him back, basically. So it, it would seem as though the stars are aligning for this matchup because you both don't have opponents. Everyone wants to see the fight again. Has the UFC approached you or your management about taking this fight? Uh, no, not 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 what I know. Not 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 really. Um, so so uh, yeah, it's just, it's just me shouting loud and and, and and want that fight. I feel that's that's the only fight that really makes sense right now. Uh, I've been away for a while. He's been away for a while. We both had a, a great first fight, and and uh, it just feel. It just feels that you know it's it's a fight that every, the, the, the MMA fans around the world want, want to see, and and uh, and I've seen him training; he's in shape, and I'm in shape, so let's do it. Why wait? Are you surprised that they haven't reached out to you about it? Like I said, it seems like the perfect time to do the rematch. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, they will. They will. They will give us a call uh, in the day. Yeah. I really hope so. And 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 let's see what they say. You know, I'm pumped for that fight, and I, and you know, it's uh, I don't know what Joe Jones feels about it, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, we had a good first one, let's have a good uh, second one. Do you think because it was such a close fight that he may not be willing to do this again? I mean, there are still some people. Uh, I believe Chael even thinks it as well that you won that fight. Are 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 you thinking that maybe that's why he's a little bit reluctant? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that John is. It's uh, uh, he's just he's he's not, he's not going to back for any fight, and and you know he's he's the uncrowned champ. Uh, you know he's uh, they took the belt from him. He's never lost in his, in his career, so he won't he won't back down for, for any fight. And uh, I just feel that uh, that he should take this fight basically, and, and, and let's do it. 
So, th- so I'm down for it. You know, let's let's fight the Madison Square Garden or whenever you want. I'm here. So that was actually my next question. His manager, Malki Kawa, was just on the show and said that as of right now, John is not booked to fight at UFC 230 at Madison Square Garden on November 3rd. As of right now, they don't have a main event. And this seems, again, like the perfect main event for that card. And so you say that yes, you would be willing. Yes, it is. You would be willing to fight on that card. I'm, I'm down for it, 100%. Yeah, I'm down for it, 100%. Something so. something is weird here, Alex. I don't understand. It's like the star- he gets a suspension that is up October 28th. It's just so perfect. How do you not get this done? I mean, it's like a great fight. It's a rematch. It's a fight everyone wants to see of the best fight of all time. It just makes too much sense for Madison Square Garden, in my opinion. I'm shocked that they haven't even brought it to your attention. Uh, no, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Hopefully, they will, they will give us a call in, in, in a couple of days. I hope so. So, and then, then, then let's see what they say. But uh, like you say, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect fight. And uh, I think the whole world wants to see that fight again. So, so and, and you know, I've, been, I've been in training. I've been... I'm feeling great. I'm in shape, and uh, yeah, everything just feels really good right now. So, I'm down for it. Would a sticking point for you be 205, or let's just say he says that you know I haven't been you know in action for a while. I'm I'm not going to be able to make 205. I'll fight you at a catchweight, 225, heavyweight, whatever the case is. Would you still take the fight? Of course. Of nope. course, I'm a big light heavyweight too. He's a big light heavyweight. I'm a big light heavyweight. That that, that makes sense. Hundred percent. Uh, do you feel like this fight has to be for a belt? Well, it's uh, you know, it's uh, I th- I think it, I think it's uh, it, it's it's a great fight and, it, and it's too good not to be about the belt. I think I think I think he's the guy who never lost and and they took his belt away and and basically this doesn't want to fight. If we start there, this one doesn't want to fight. He, he's a heavyweight now and. And uh, he is up there. He has his, has his, uh, he has his. Uh, he's just aiming at Brock right now. And uh, well, yeah, why not? Would you be you know, okay if it's an uh, interim belt fight, or do you think it should be for the real title? Like, are you saying that they should strip DC and just make this for the real belt because John was once the real champion? I think I think it should be about the real belt, uh, of course, but. If you do it for the interim, let's do it. And, you know, whatever they say. Okay. I'm up for it. So, uh, do you know, I don't have a problem with either of it, but it, it, it is a, it is a, it is a, a, a title, a title quality fight. If, if, if I put it in that way, I think this is, this is the fight people want to see. And I think, I think the right way to put it is, it should be about the belt, but I don't know how everything will play, play out. Uh, and, and whatever it goes, I'm 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 I'm, I'm here, and and uh, if it's for an interim belt, I'm fine with that too. So, you've been critical of Jones in the past. Do you have any concern about him fighting this fight not clean? Do Do you think that he would cheat? No, I don't think so. I don't I don't really care. He can, he can cheat if he wants to cheat. I don't care. I'll, 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 I'll still put a beating on him, so <laughs> it's, it's it's all good for me. You know, whatever he wants to do, he does it, and, and uh, it's all up to him. But I know what I have, and I know what I'll be, so I'll be ready. Do you think he was cheating in the first fight against you? <laughs> uh, you know, I can just speculate, and I don't want to speculate. So, so that that's in the past. We had, a, we had a good first run, and then uh, I just want a second one. It's a fight I wanted for a very long time, and also the, all the fans around the world. So. And I think John wants it too. He, want, he, wants, he wants to make a statement. He wants to win there. He wants to beat me up just to a point. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just hoping he's, he's up for it. So. God, I would love to see that fight. I, I that, that was such a great night in Toronto. It was magical, and uh, I would do anything to see that fight again. It seems like such a no-brainer. When's the last time you watched it, Alex? Have you have you sat back and watched it recently? No, not recently, but, but I, I've seen it a couple of times. I've seen it enough to 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 know how how, how every round looks like. So, but not not for a long time. I haven't seen it now. And and you and you still think you won, right? I still think I had three rounds against him. Yeah. Uh, it was a, it was a tight fight. It was a really it was a, it was a hard fight to 
he, he finished he finished uh, very strong. He does that in all his fights. Wh- whatever the fight, whoever the fight plays out, he always makes sure to finish strong, and that's what that's what judges see. And, you know, he's he, John is a smart guy. He's a great fighter and intelligent fighter. So, so you can't let them have the edge of you in, in the end of the rounds, basically. Have you ever seen that interview that I did with him a couple of years ago where he said that he was partying that whole week in Toronto and he walked out to the cage saying to himself, I'm going to lose this fight. I didn't do enough to prepare for it. Did you ever see that? And if so, what did you make of it? No, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he was just kind of out of control that week and didn't prepare enough and sort of took you for granted and was doubting himself on the way to the cage. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. I think it, I think that's just excuses, nothing else. Oh, okay. So you're think you're thinking that he's giving excuses <laughs> for his performance because the fight was closer than most people expected. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. So what's the message here to the UFC? Yeah, you know, I, I, Go I, ahead. I, I give I, I give him an opportunity to, to 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 prove a point in our next fight. Yes. So what's the message here to the UFC? What's the message to John Jones? How do we make this happen? How do we get it done November third, Madison Square Garden? Let's do it. It's, it's one of the biggest fights in the UFC history, and let's have another one. And it's a great matchup. Let's do it, Madison Square Garden. It's it's the most in the arena, and let's do it for for the belt. Let's do let's do let's, let's fight for the belt, and 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 uh, and just have our great second fight that everyone wants to see. All right, simple enough. I hope they I hope they make it happen. As of right this second, no main event. It makes all the sense in the world. Greatest fight ever. Let's do it again in the world's most famous arena and greatest arena. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Exactly. Jeez, Louise. Exactly. I, I think I need to get things done over there. I need to fly down to Vegas and make <laughs> this happen for you, Alex. Um, I'll do my best on, on this I show. Will, will, I will appreciate that. I will appreciate that. All right. <laughs> I got your back. Alex, I appreciate you doing this as always. Again, congratulations to you and your family, and good luck getting this fight. I, for one, hope that it happens sooner rather than later. I hope it happens in this very city, New York City. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you soon. There he is, the mauler himself, Alexander Gustafson. No main event as of right now, UFC 230. They're doing promos for it uh, during the Sao Paulo card, and they're sort of listing Nate Diaz versus Dustin Poirier as the last fight, but there's there's not a main event and i see dustin poirier campaigning for a 165 pound title versus nate diaz i would love that as the co-main why not it's time to introduce that belt it would be great no i don't mean main event jake i mean 165 pound co-main nate diaz versus dustin poirier main event the rematch of the greatest fight of all time john jones versus alexander gustafson come on it makes too much sense now we're talking the last two msg cards had Conor McGregor versus Eddie Alvarez, historic fight. And GSP versus Bisping, greatest night ever in the sport. Those three title fights, back to back to back. We got to follow it up with something big. How about rematch of the best fight ever? Big.